All right, next topic, floor flatness. Um, particularly a structural application where, you know, again, I said if, if you've got both your feet inside the building and you're looking to pick up um, uh, structural um, workflows or structural deliverables, RealWorks um, will usually shine better than TVC. Uh, and it's no doubt, no different in uh, the floor flatness routine. Um, RealWorks allows users to inspect the flatness or levelness of the floor and create reports according to the ASTM E1155, my favorite standard, um, which is, uh, Jason, as far as I know, it is an industry standard. It's the industry standard, correct? Well, it depends on where you live, but uh, for kind of US-based people, it's, it's a popular standard. We actually use a couple of tools within RealWorks. There's one just for doing an analysis on the tools or the floor, and then another one for creating this ASTM uh, report. The, the funny thing about most standards uh, is they're written for other instruments other than laser scanners. Uh, they could be written for tank or, or tapes or uh, total stations. So that's, that's kind of the funny thing you'll notice is a recurring theme in RealWorks will make one tool to really analyze something and see everything taking full advantage of the point cloud. And then we'll generally create another tool to create a report in some standard that people are used to seeing. Although the other, other way will actually show you more of what's going on and, and help you figure out what's wrong and how to fix it. Well, uh, hey, Joe, I just thought I have one thing to add here. Um, sure. We didn't cover it uh, in the uh, previous slides, but since we're talking about the indoor environment on this one, um, another thing I really like about RealWorks, again, uh, I expose myself as well. I like about <laughs> RealWorks is it can uh, classify point clouds in indoor environment into floor, into walls, and into ceilings which uh, TBC is more um, powerful in outdoor environment to classify things into um, natural uh, objects such as trees or poles and signs. Yes. Yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a good Go point. Uh, there's, there's actually a floor extraction tool in RailWorks and it's a little bit more uh, discriminating, I guess, than the ground extraction. So when you're trying to get rid of, uh, you know, maybe cables or some rubbish that may be sitting on the on the floor when you do your scan, it's a lot more efficient at removing those than than just using the ground extraction. Both really popular tools, but make sure you get the right one. Yeah, and we've we've already had some questions on, you know, taking I, probably users that that have used both or is familiar with one or the other. Um, you know, we said, hey, if you've got both feet inside doing kind of structural or, or building applications, RealWorks would, would have a tendency to shine greater. Um, certain tools and, and hardware and trends in the industry, well, we see more and more surveyors coming inside and their tool has been uh, Trimble Business Center. And so we're getting asked um, in this webinar and, and uh, you know, outside to, you know, bring some of those in interior tools, the classification routines that Ray and Jason are talking about in the TVC. And we're evaluating those, um, you know, strategically to say, hey, you know, surveyors are using this equipment. They want to mesh their, their indoor and outdoor environments together into their single projects. Um, so, so that is being considered and, and being developed as well. So, so I'd say stay tuned there. All right, uh, pattern here for flatness resources, there you go.